better than to go <clears throat> for wheeling, man. I am like Steve Jeep and ill, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> love it. Can't get enough of it. travel hack so if they just give you a head of lettuce like um, our restaurant did you got to put the dressing and you know all of the things on top and then you can close the thing make sure it's on and you shake it this is professional chef stuff shake it all around upside down to the side and then fast forward because it takes a minute <laughs> It's all, it's all evenly spread out and shooken up. You have a really good salad. Six twenty-two race morning. Um, been up since five. Got all the flexibility, all the meditation, all the pranayama done, and uh, feeling good. S really tiny, small breakfast. Dewa is in the shower. She starts later than me. And here's the big, big experiment of the weekend. We're gonna run the National Trails Championship in road shoes. That's a start line. That's Tenderfoot Mountain. I'm not gonna film my race today. I'm gonna try to do something, but I'm gonna haul ass back down and try to get the GoPro out and try to get some footage of Dewa. Very difficult logistics on these mountain races to try to get footage, but I'm gonna try to do what I can for you. The whole uh, race course and last year's race has been documented in the links above. Good luck, girls. Space to go in front of you so you can see those rocks coming up. It's the Rocky Mountain, right? This is where we live. So there's a few of those, navigate them well, jump on top of those rocks, whatever you gotta do. Um, obviously, when you finish uh, those things, and go get a picture with Paco and Taco, would you? There. We're gonna start about 30 seconds. Um, I'm gonna give you a two. Ooh. Post race, post race, active recovery, I guess. I'm gonna try to get up to the single track and then uh, haul ass back down. Here comes the first boys. Go. Jack Purcell. Let's go, Jack! Yeah, yeah. baby! Let's go, Nordic! Nordic! Let's go! Do this! 
she is in 17th. Uh, fantastic work. Come on, baby girl. Let's go, horse! This is your terrain, right here. Two places in front of you. Out of the hips, baby girl. Come on, you got this. Doing great, 17th. Top 20, let's go! Up, 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 up! Arms, arms, arms! Oh boy. This race. That's all it says. Good day long. Girls, good work, girls! Up, 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 up! Good work, girls! Left turn, left turn. Left turn. It's a race. It's a race. She got her. This is about this race and how to finish it. <laughs> you played it beautifully, baby. You played it beautiful. Uh, good work out there. Thank you. Colorado Springs. Oh, awesome. I may have seen you at State or something. We're from Durango. So I feel you look familiar. What was your name again? Jaywalk. Jaywalk? Jaywalk. Jaywalk. Cool, cool. Yeah. Awesome job today. Look who it is, vlog. It's Jack Purcell. Yes, hello. First time at Trails Nats. What do you mm -hmm. think? Um, a really good course, really fast on the downhill. I really like it. Uh huh. Yeah. You gonna come back? Heck yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Great job yeah. out there. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was really fun. Welcome to high school racing. Yay! It's really important in my mind and our in our minds to celebrate these younger runners because they might not always be immediately at the top, but they will be um, given enough time. So um, again, if you're one of these younger racers out there and you're looking at those guys in front of you thinking, how am I ever gonna get there? You will. These guys can tell you how to get it. do okay we are in Salida Colorado approximately basically 12 hours actually to a T after my race and I did um, a little shakeout run um, started with about an hour and 15 in the gym did a whole bunch of stretching foam rolling core and then went into mostly just upper body. I did do a couple squats though. Um, just because the Nationals race wasn't quite hard enough for you? Or? I got bored relaxing. So I was like, you know what? Let's do more physical things. Take us through the race. Okay. 
the race. So it was pretty good, but it went out really fast, just naturally. I was mid-pack and we were moving. First uphill, felt really good, I actually hit the single track. Everything was good. Road shoes worked great on all the uphills. I mean, the terrain, all of it actually. Even on the techie downhills, just watching the footing was great. Finishing and starting with the road shoe was a really good idea. Um, so first burn pile, that was okay. I was able to find a bit of tempo. Then we traversed and went down. And then by the time I hit Rusty Lung, I was feeling the legs a little bit. Um, swimming a little bit in the lactate, but we made it through and I got caught up in another group of awesome girls and I just kind of ran with them on the way down. We were all able to stay within a couple seconds of each other. Um, and it just stayed like that basically to the end. And then another girl came up behind me about 200 meters from the finish, I wanna say, maybe 250. Yeah, I was able to hold her off, I think partially because of the road shoes, honestly, and just the plate in them. And then, yeah. Cause last year you got nipped in the, in the finishing shoot and this year it was payback, huh? A little bit, yeah, last year was brutal. There's some, there some shoving, there was some accidental shoving, of course. There's some running into gravel, it was a whole thing. How was it racing against Team USA? Oh my God, that was crazy. Um, just to like be in their presence is really awesome. There yeah. are some really incredible runners there and just to line up next to them was quite the honor. I had a great night's sleep before the race and access to gym and pool and I think it overall really helped my um, pre-race, post-race recovery and the race itself. So thank you guys so much. We couldn't do it without you.